So we're, we're going to talk now? Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to take a quickie licky, wicked leak, wicked leak. Don't do that. So. Okay. Great to finally sit down with you. Uh, I've been listening to your music for a long time. What were your expectations of yourself moving into being Abbath as opposed to the front man for Immortal? I never thought about, you know, that I want to be a rock star, you know. I just want to find that special, your special self, you know. Deal with the inner conflict, you know, be on top of your inner demon and ride it. And does that apply in the... Shh. I mean, I guess the downside to it being a band called Abbath, an album called Abbath, and you are Abbath up there at the front is that it can be perceived as being all about you. I mean, is that hard for you? I never, I never uh, thought in a million fucking years or whatever the fuck uh, about, I mean, going solo, you know mm -hmm, what I mean? Mm -hmm. I'm solo. <laughs> Have another solo. On. I'm not the boss. I'm just the captain. Captain Abbott. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And don't fuck with my bridge. <laughs> one thing I. One thing I. One thing I also wanted to ask you. Uh, your, your attitude has always seemed to be. If people say hooray, I'm happy. I'm good. You can go on tour all day and it's like, oh, what a shitty venue. Oh, everything is shit, you know, oh, it's chaos, you know. But as soon as you're, you're up there and you have your people there, you know, it's hooray! <laughs> it's on a rock and roll, but. I like it. Yeah. So what yes. I've always admired about your performances, especially, because what you did is you actually brought humor to the stage in a way that, you know, none of the Norwegian bands and most, you know, extreme metal bands haven't really done. Is, is humor important to you? Yeah, of course, it's the devil's music. Yeah, it's like, Jesus Christ, superstar. <laughs> I guess my question is, how, do you, how are you getting away with this? <laughs> and maintaining uh, your credibility within, the, within this scene. Uh, I guess I'm die hard. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure I understand. <laughs> <laughs> Balance. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, you know, I was working with scaffolding for years, and um, you gotta respect the heights because if you if you don't, you fall. Living on the edge. What's the balance for you between when it comes to creating? quality music and putting on a quality show. You're someone that I've always been struck by. You put a lot of effort into your show, into your showmanship. You gotta swing, it has to swing, you know? Uh -huh. Swing on the axe. Uh -huh. yeah. You have to feel that, you know, the swing. And the twist, gotta do the twist. And how much of that are you conscious of? Uh, <laughs> oh. Now, earlier off camera, I mistakenly called that the crab walk, which you quickly told me it is actually the... Yeah, me and the uh, demons, we call it the demon walk. In this transition from Immortal to Abbath, what are you most proud of? The sacrifices. The no fucking arounds. You have to do it for the right reason. Having a good fucking time. Loving the process, you know, like the mighty diamond Dave. Don't take everything too damn serious in your life, you know. It's not whether you win or you lose, it's how good you look. <laughs> <laughs>